where we're born, where we live, where we work, where we grow up, are all critical factors in determining our health in the long term. So those people who live in the most disadvantaged neighbourhoods are more likely to have shortened lives, they're more likely to have greater um, disabilities than people who live in richer neighbourhoods. And that's quite a stark contrast in some cases. So People's Health Trust believes that where you live should not unfairly reduce the length of your life or the quality of your health. Society lotteries are a great vehicle for us um, because they fund the things that are dear to people's hearts. Things like cancer and air ambulances and veterans, really important issues. But they also fund those things which are really hard to explain, really difficult to fundraise for, health inequalities. It's not an easy thing to explain to people because people think about health in terms of disease and this is not about the absence of disease. Health is about all of the good things and having green spaces, community spaces. That's what creates healthy communities. Um, so the projects that we've invested in health belief area have been projects which have allowed local people to develop great ideas about how they grow, live, work and age. The emphasis is upon people getting together, becoming connected and making their communities healthier. I didn't know nothing before. <laughs> Just now I, now I started learning. I'm only 72. <laughs> Just 72. The most, most useful thing I would like to learn, how to send the messages, how to receive the message, and uh, do the shoppings on the land. All of them are retired. Asian, oldest and disabled people, they felt that uh, they were rather disconnected from the society. The grant covers the cost of the premises and also the cost of the tutor. If you've got a professional tutor, oh, it's been going great. All of them have now got their own email address through which they can now communicate with their friends, their relatives. They can now access the NHS services through the use of internet. Uh, and that, it, this, in a way, that it gives them a lot of confidence. They now empower themselves to face the society, whereas previously they were feeling uh, uh, lonely and isolated. Everything is coming on the computer now. You can check it out. Everything is on computer, even if you wanted to fill any forms. It is a very, very nice invention. I think uh, we can learn more about the world from the computer than anything else. Um, the project is a um, um, Grow, Cook and Eat project. Um, we've got a lot of issues in this area, it's a deprived community. Um, I wanted to do a community project um, with the older people and the young people, bringing them together and um, eating together and learning, learning how to cook different foods on the budget. Have you got 15, 16 altogether? Doing chicken casserole, um, which includes a lot of vegetables and everything, so it's a healthier thing um, with the lean meat and um, then we're doing a bread and butter pudding and using bananas and sultanas in it to like incorporate a bit of fruit but also the sweetness so you don't have to use as much sugar. Bread and butter pudding, I've never tasted it. I don't know what bread and banana or something just goes like, that's it. At the end of the course we'll be getting a health and safety certificate and a level one in catering. Um, it'll help me, help me out a bit just to get a job in working in the catering business. I've never cooked it before, so... Oh, yeah. Young people um, get tired with bad things, but it's nice to be able to meet with old and young together and get a hot meal, and it's about being part of the community. 